a lot going on here, you know. It looks like there's a lot going on. It's just a really simple recipe, though. But it's just like, I just make, making it look like there's lots going on. <laughs> I'm doing, okay, you ready for this, John? It's a lovely snowy day. <laughs> so I thought I'd do a lovely, bright, citrus, zingy pudding. This time of year, we've got all these wonderful citrus fruits. So we have blood oranges, these beautiful Sicilian lemons, which I keep using because I have so many of the beautiful things. Obviously, seven orange marmalade. That's everyone's doing that at the moment. But I thought what I do is a blood orange and lemon saucy pud. Nice. Saucy, yeah. So when I open it, I'll go mmm, apron because it's saucy. Um, it's a separating pud. Okay, it's magic. So you mix all the ingredients together, and in the oven it just separates. So you get this lovely light and fluffy sponge on the top, and this beautiful, really bright citrus sauce underneath. It's delicious. It's a lovely pud. And I've got these orange um, segments. Now, in the past when I've done it, I haven't done anything because I've done it just with lemon actually, but I thought because I'm gonna mix it with the blood orange today and I have these lovely segments. I did think about putting them at the bottom of the dish, but I didn't want to make the sauce too runny because obviously they've got a lot of juice in them. So I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna to have to test that another time and then see if it works. I didn't want to just do it today in case it didn't work. So, um, I'm going to keep these and just serve them on the side, cold, warm, room temperature, which would be lovely anyway. Or we, or we add that to our fruit salad we're going to make later, because I'm being really healthy. I make this a nice fruit salad. Anyway, so, just going to segment this blood orange. What I have done with it prior to this is take the zest off it. So I've taken the zest off two blood oranges and one lemon, okay, one large lemon. You want to get a real impact of flavour in this and get it really, really citrusy and bright. So go for it with a lemon, okay? If I didn't have one of those large lemons and if I wasn't using the blood orange, I'd probably go three lemons, okay? Juice and grated zest off, okay? It's really, really strong and lemony. You just need this sort of citrus fruit, don't you, at the moment? Because it comes at the right time in January when everyone just hasn't had quite enough vitamin C and you just need a little bit more brightness and good stuff inside you. So I'm just going to squeeze the remaining juice out of there and then squeeze the final lemon because I had an old lemon there which I've just taken the juice off as well. So, oh, wrong place for that. Yeah. So I squeeze this and I make it to about, it, it'll come to about 200 mils or so of, of lemon juice. fragrance aren't they? I know I keep going on about them but they are just the most wonderful lemons. The smell, the juice, the content of juice is incredible as well. So much juice in them. There we go. You know, I'm so tempted to say. Lucky you didn't do that really. 200 mils okay of juice so a bit of blood orange in there and some lemon just take the rest of the juice off those as well all right so you can take this and I can put the tube there for a moment in here 75 grams of butter and about 180 grams of golden caster sugar and all this zest okay all of that you see loads of it that all goes in, so that's orange and lemon. It goes in, and I'm going to whiz it, whizzy whiz whiz, until it's well mixed and a bit sort of pale. Then I'm going to separate the eggs, three of them, put the egg yolks in there, then the flour and the milk, and then I'm going to beat up egg whites and fold them in. That's it, that's how you make it, it's that simple. Looking at the size of these eggs, I think I could probably get away one more because they're not huge, but give me little eggs. So I'm going to go with four, but I'd say three medium, well, me three large eggs should go into this mixture. So I'm separating them out. So the whites go in the bowl because I'm going to whisk those up. Yolks are going in there, okay. 
give that a whisk together. So basically, what I did by um, mixing the sugar and the butter together with the zest is to bruise that zest. Remember I've said in cakes, if you just, um, is it all the essential oils are in the rind or the zest of the orange. So if you just give, agitate it, you bruise them and you release those amazing oils to make it more flavoursome. So do that, and I'm going to just beat in the egg yolks. Now I'm going to add the milk. It's about 200 ml of milk. Goes in. Now this is going to all start to look a little bit curdled and a bit warm, but it'll work, don't worry. That's normal. And now I'm just going to turn the flour in it, just fold it through. I can't remember how much is the top of my head. I've weighed it all out. I'll tell you the recipe, as I usually do at the end. I can't remember. I'm just going to stir that through. Now, as I said, it's going to look curdled. That's fine. Once this is done, I'm just going to put that into a separate bowl, clean this, come back, and there'll be some um, whipped up egg whites in there, ready and waiting. To the final thing to put it into the oven. They're not really, really stiff, so they sort of so they'll mix really well with this mixture. You see what I'm saying? They kind of got to be the same consistency. Okay. Did you forget to put the juice in? The, I did. Um... Yes, I forgot to put the juice in. So the juice gets added as well. So in here, just to recap, we've got we've got the butter, the sugar, the lemon zest, and the orange zest. We have milk, and we have egg yolks. Okay, and now all that lovely juice is going in as well. So, it's quite a lot of liquid. There is a lot of liquid in there, isn't it? I hope it works. Sure, be fine. She says. Um, don't forget, we've got the flour in there as well, and it all just tends to, it does sort of separate. That's the whole point of it, you see, and you have this saucy liquid at the bottom. I'm just going to stir that in, that just helps introduce the rest of it in there. So it's like souffle on top, so the way to describe it. And because the souffle in the egg white is so light and the rest of the mixture is dense, that's how it separates. And the flour attaches to the egg white and that makes a sponge. It's quite clever, isn't it? Mm. It's a bit of chemistry. I just think it's one of the nice ones. And there's so many varieties you can do as well. Chocolate one's really good. Chocolate sauce is good. Some people call them self-sourcing, which I just think is a bit odd. It's a bit of an odd name, self-sourcing, isn't it? I'm self-sourcing today. So I think saucy is much better. I'm a child of the 70s. <laughs> it's a carry-on film, isn't it? Okay, so just pour that all into the bowl and then you put that into the oven. It takes about 45 minutes at 160 fan oven, okay? That's not a, it's not a high temp, it's a slower cook. And then when it's kind of just firm, just firm, it's ready. And what I did it in the clear bowl for was so we could see the separated sauce. Right, go now. I'll put it in the oven for a cup of tea. You can check out the snow. I might lob a snowball at you. Look at that. Light, fluffy, and airy on top, right? See that? And then underneath, made your little saucy you've got your saucy at the bottom there we go you see that is yourself sourcing as they say but i call it saucy pud. blood orange saucy pud and lemon i'll tell you what i'm going to do john I just, I just remember i said i was going to put a couple of these on there because they'll just sort of a bit of the heat from the pudding will just warm them through i think that looks so pretty doesn't that look gorgeous You've got the lovely, light, fluffy top. It's it? lovely. Does it? Nice, isn't it? Just, it's hot. <laughs> what is it when I can stuff it in my bowl? Oh. Mm. Oh, that's so beautifully sharp. Mm. It's not too sweet at all. 
and got that beautiful balance of um, orange and lemon in there. Certainly the lemon, that's really zingy. Mm. And you know what? That sauce is amazing. And it's so light. Mm. Perfect for a snowy day. It's like a snowy fluffy top, isn't it? Look at you! Yeah. But it is. It is all snowy and, and fluffy on top. I mean, look how light it is. It's, it's basically it's basically a souffle on top with a sauce underneath. It's so clever, isn't it? Are you going to leave any for me to try? Mm. Mm. You've got that. You can have one of that. Look, but look, you can see. That's hot. You can see how it's separated when you look inside. You see, you've got the firmy, spongy bit, and then you've got that lovely sauce underneath which honestly so it's so scrumptious and what i love about it is it's just not overly sweet i hate really sweet puddings i find them just too much but the sharpness of all these beautiful citrus fruits which were around at the time that around at the time which are around at the moment it just makes all the difference so get yourself some blood oranges and some lemons and make this pudding mm. it's really worth it mm.